artist Takimiko Arts. Today we are going to learn how to draw Knuckles the Echidna, a main character from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. He is the sole remaining descendant of the Knuckles clan and the last of the Echidnas on Earth. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this one. For this activity you will need a pencil for all the basic shapes. I always have two ready in case one breaks, a black marker for outlining our final drawing, and an eraser to get rid of all the rough lines we made to give our artwork an extra professional look. So to start out with, you are going to draw a circle on the right hand side for the basic shape of Knuckles' head. Then you are going to draw a curve shape going down in the middle of Knuckles' head and then another kind of curve shape like this to help figure out where Knuckles' eyes should be and where his nose should be. So after that, you are going to add the basic shape for Knuckles' nose, which believe it or not, is going to be almost like a triangle, a rounded triangle. You can add a little circle on top of it or inside of it, which is going to be that little white spot or the light reflecting. Then you're gonna be adding the basic shape for his eyes. So you're gonna add a line coming up and a line going down. And then you're going to draw a line going up and a line going down along that curve. So after that, you are going to add a little bit of detail to his cheeks. So to do that, you're going to draw a curved line that's connecting down to the circle and then another curved line, which is going up and down and then going to loop around like so then to finish it off you are going to you're going to add his little the basic shape for his little smirk so you're going to draw a line and then another curve shape for his mouth. After that, you are going to add a little bit more detail to the eyes. So you're gonna sketch in a little line beside the eye, and then give it a little bit of thickness. Then you're going to add a curve line for his brow and curve it up. And then for his other eye, you're going to add a curve line going down and up, and then a curve line that's starting just a little bit higher and looping around like so. Yeah. After you have that complete, you can add his irises, which are going to be ovals. You can have him looking whichever way you prefer. Then you can add a little pupil inside and a little, another little circle, which will just be a glimmer of light reflecting off his eyes. Then you're going to add the iris to the other side as well. And then an oval inside for his pupil and a tiny little circle which will be the light reflecting as well. And so after you have that complete, you're gonna add a little bit more detail to his mouth. So you're gonna use that uh, shape, that backwards T shape that we drew before, and you're going to 
add a little bit more detail to his top lip. So you can see that I drew a line going down and then over, and then I'm keeping that curve shape kind of similar, but I'm gonna add his sharp teeth. So to do that, I'm drawing a line going down, zigzagging down and up, and then over again. And then I'm gonna add a little smile line, which is just a little curve shape, like so. Now comes the fun part, which is his hair. Now what is unique about Knuckles is his hair actually comes back a bit and he has a lot of it. So to block in his hair, first we're gonna draw a line kind of extending from his head. So it kind of curves up and then down. It's almost like a big lump on his head or bump. And to get that at the right height, just take your time and gradually build it up. Now you can see it's taking me a little bit of time to do that. So it might take you a little bit longer. And if it does, that's okay. Take your time. So then I'm gonna add um, a few pieces of his hair. So I'm gonna have one kind of coming down and going up. So to do that, I'm just gonna draw a curve line going down and then start at the bottom and draw a curve line going up. That's tapering out a little bit. Then to add the layered effect, I'm going to draw another curve line going down and the curve line going up. And then I'm going to Start underneath, draw another, cur uh, another line going down, and then a curved line going up, go to the same spot. And then the last little piece is going to be kind of layered underneath. Then you can maybe add a few more other pieces if you like. I'm gonna add one right here. And there you go, we have our knuckles kind of sketched in. So now, once I am done that, I'm going to just take a look and see what might need to be adjusted or altered. And I think I'm gonna make that bump on his head even a little bit bigger. And after I'm done that, I'm going to move on to using my black marker to outline. So to do that, I'm gonna start maybe at his eyes. And I'm just gonna trace over them. Now I'm just gonna take a minute and erase all of my uh, rough pencil lines. So now I'm going to color in knuckles. So I'm gonna use marker for his hair, a nice bright red color. blue 
marker to fill in his irises. And last, I'm going to use a skin color to fill in the lower part of his face. There you have it. The independent, headstrong, serious, yet gullible, Knuckles. Even though he is devoted to his duty of protecting the Master Emerald, Knuckles can always be relied on when his friends and others are in need of help. Way to be Knuckles. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment below. Thank you for joining. Remember to be yourself, have fun, and to keep drawing. Until next time.